welcome to the Wigan Cult Film Club Podcast. Welcome everybody to what is going to be the Wigan Cult Film Club Podcast. Um, in theory, this is the first episode, but in theory it's not. It's the second episode, uh, as I did a little taste, uh, sort of like a pilot episode a couple of weeks back, just to try and test it out, see how it went. And to be fair, it, the, the video got out to a few people. I was quite surprised that nearly 100 people have seen that video. You know what I mean? With all with all the 18 subscribers. Well, it, was me, it was just me 100 just times. A it was just me 100 times watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on again. I'll put it on again. <laughs> and basically, in 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 that little uh, little forte of what I did was just me banging on about um, why we wanted to do what we've done, how we've gone about doing what we're doing, and where we're doing what we're doing. Uh, and I think people sort of understood and, and, and sort of got their head round why why we was doing it, basically. Um, but this is going to be a little bit more in depth going forward now. Um, again, if you if you come to the club nights uh, uh, on the monthly basis when we put them on, you'll know myself and you will know Dave, my co-host here. Uh, no, it's that way, that way. Hello. That way. Um, if you don't know over, that over side. this side, this side. Um, if you don't know um, uh, yeah. myself or if you don't know Dave. Um, Maybe you've seen me on my other YouTube channel uh, where I bore people incessantly with uh, the talks of 80s cartoons and uh, 80s TV shows and, and films and all that kind of 80s goodness. Uh, and if you don't know uh, Dave, Dave, do you want to just explain briefly what you do, mate, and where people can find you? Yeah, uh, uh, I used to work in a sandwich factory yeah. when I was younger, but I don't think that comes into it. <laughs> Um, I um, I sit under my stairs here, mm -hmm. with a big old tablet for drawing, and I draw comics for a living. Um, I do other stuff as well, like eat and wash occasionally. <laughs> um, but uh, my main job is uh, I make comics. Me and my mate Mike uh, and my brother Pete, uh, we make comics for that old fella, uh, the, the master of horror. That would be Mr. John Carpenter. Nice. Um, so we get to make some horror stuff and... We get to make um, all the stuff that we wanted to make when we were 10 years old. And when he, we get an email off him saying, listen, I was thinking, can you make that fella's guts turn into something that will go into somebody else's guts and turn his guts into something else? And we're like, yes. Of course, yes, we can, John. We can yeah. do that. Yes, no problem. Yeah. So um, that's my main job. Um, and I, I'm thinking about getting a paper round as well because mm -hmm. bread's dead expensive now. <laughs> but um, other than that, um, I think Tony's mentioned a bit, uh, last time about um, his, his need to set up uh, this club and it, it mainly stems from like Wigan's got no cinema yeah and uh, you might not think it but, but Wigan's got a, a nice history of cinema it has you know it's always seemed to have one and uh, um, if you can stand uh, looking at the uh, epilepsy inducing adverts on Wigan today they did an article on it the other week um <laughs> Uh, thank God it didn't have Luke Marsden in it. Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> but um, they didn't have a nice <laughs> business insect. So, um, so they did a thing uh, the other week, um, and it was just showing you all the old cinemas. And I'm like, whoa, hold on a minute! You had one down like King Street, and you had one over there, and it's, it's got a proper good history of like having some cinemas. Yeah. And now yeah. it's got none. It's got none uh, at all because you know things went nuts, and then nobody was going in the cinema. But Tony and myself and plenty of other folk uh, of our age, which is approximately 104. Yes. Um, we all grew up with like uh, the Wigan Ritz and uh, Unit 4 in Pemberton and stuff yes. like that. So yep. there was always a cinema to hand to go for a major cinematic event. Gremlins is coming out, so let's all pile into Unit 4 and watch that. Or Universal Soldier, I think, was one of the last ones I watched there. Mad. Oh, nice. But we had some were. Uh, we had like some were. For those public events, for those bits, those things where you'd go and watch Flash Gordon, and you'd catch the bus on the way home, and you'd have a chat about it. And somebody, uh, Tony, sent me a, a clip the other week um, about a guy down. Is it in Bristol? Bristol, think? yeah, twentieth uh, um, century flicks. Yeah. yeah, wow, that looks brilliant. Honestly, yeah, it looks fantastic. Have a Google and see if you can find it. But um, it's a fellow running like a DVD video shop down there. 
and they have a, a few little like cinema screens, projector screen yeah. set up so people can go in and just give them a bit of money and say, listen, we want to go and watch Lethal Weapon 3. Can we, can we grab it off the shelf? And, and then you go. And he made, a, he made a point about Netflix, and it stuck with me, really. He said, your film finishes on Netflix, and you get a countdown to the next one. And it's like, can I, can I have a minute to breathe? Can I yeah. have a second to process what Jet Li's just done to yeah. uh, Martin Riggs yeah. in Lethal Weapon 4? No, you can't. It's like the next thing's coming up. Watch this. And that fellow made the point that, yeah, we've lost that sort of that ability to sort of like just sit and have a yeah, chat about yeah, in, interact. what we've just seen. Yeah. Yeah, interact. You know, sit through the credits or just listen to the music at the end or just talk about it. Like, And, and some of the, my fonder memories of... Uh, cinema going and video watching were like you know the walk home afterwards because you'd all be yeah 100 about like um what was your favorite bit and what about the next one imagine if they did this imagine if they did that and i think that's a core part of why we've been enjoying setting this club up because we're all sat there eating crisps and stinking and yeah having a bit of empto and whatever else you want to drink but like was watching, we were watching Arachnophobia the other night, weren't we? Yeah, we had, we had that on. Yeah, that was the last time. And I saw four fully grown, yeah, four fully grown men jump <laughs> at a tarantula that was roaring. <laughs> it was, it was roaring. It, was. it went rah like that, and these guys were oh, like this. And I thought, this is brilliant. This I've seen this film, but they probably haven't. Yeah, and I know Tony's mentioned this as well. We've had, we've had a few like young lads come in with their dad, and. And I thought it was kind of funny at first. Ah, wait till they see the dog split in the thing. Yeah. It's going to be ace. And then we've slowly realised these guys are watching these films for the first for time. For the first time. And, and they're watching it in, yeah, and they're watching it in this mad, raucous sports bar <laughs> with our mate down the end who plays pool yeah. while we're watching films. They've even got the, they've even got the, yeah. the sport on on the tellies around the bar while we're watching our film. Yeah. But it's, it, it's made a, a little... Club, it's made a little place where we're starting to get regular people coming, and anyone who comes is welcome. And those Tony said this numerous times. Yep. But it just makes it more fun. Someone comes in and says, "Oh, what are you watching?" Some fellow walked in the other day, yeah. um, in the middle of the love scene in Lost Boys, yeah. and he comes in and he looks at the screen like that, and looks at a massive line of people all sat there watching, <laughs> whatever his name is, Michael's Bur- Bull, yeah. jumping about, and and um, he went, "Are you coming in, mate?" He went. <sighs> Uh, just backed off but it's it's fun having a place to to, to see all that stuff in it, it and, it's, and like it, i say it is like we've said before it, 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 it's those it's those interactions of seeing people see something for the first time and enjoying it with them yeah um, I, it's, and then stopping around later on yeah to have, to have a, another beer or a chat or, a chat or help tidy up or what, whatever it is you know what i mean People yeah, yeah. are getting involved and enjoying being involved. Um, I mean, going back yeah. to the, to the, the young lads that are coming, me, the, no, go on, man. Yeah. No, I was going to say, and as Tony's always said from day one, it's kind of fun having people recommending stuff. Yes. You know, um, we're, we're, we've got we've got uh, one member who's quietly obsessed with the Garbage Pail Kids <laughs> movie. I think she said out loud 20 times, I think it's the best film I've ever seen. Can we have it on? Yeah. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she said she, she remembers it being a nightmare. Um, but um, Tony's found it and, and yeah. we'll do a screening at some point and we'll stick it on and, and just remember how terrible it is. Yeah. It, and- it's it's nice knowing somebody, somebody's got a, a, a movie uh, itch yeah, to scratch. Ma- yeah, and, massively. Uh, we might be able to help out with it. Yeah, and and that that that's been one of the key things as well. Is at, at every event, I mean, we tell people, listen, if you want to come forward and, and host something, don't just rely on us to, to to put the biz on that we like every month. If there's something out there that you want to watch and yeah. you want to get involved and you want to host the night, just come and tell us. And we've got the equipment. Yeah. If we've got the films, or if we could source the films, or if you've got the films. Come in, host it, put it on. You know what I mean? No one has to wait for, for me and you yeah. choosing, you know what I mean? Robocop 3, or, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, there, it's, there to be, <laughs> it's there to be used. The, the, the whole platform is, is there yeah, to be used. Yeah. Um, and I think... Although, although, although saying... I was going to say, saying that though, Charlie, we are not watching The Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> 
I draw, I draw the line. Like I said in the last video, I draw the line at certain films, and I will not do higher. You know what I mean? We're not looking because I think I think the um, one thing that people have to realise about the people that are congregating at the end of the month, every month, is everybody is sort of like minded in the kind of stuff that they're into. And that is not high quality cinema. <laughs> that, that is bottom of the bin. No. I mean, when, when when we showed arachnophobia and someone told us this is as high bro as it gets, you know what I mean? It, it's like, right, okay, yeah. if, if, this, if this is the best film, it was. Ever, I mean, it was like, um, yeah, yeah. Production value on that was almost Jurassic Park it was. in comparison to some of the biz we've been putting yeah. on. But uh, it, it's nice knowing. I, I like finding out. Um, that people do have a, a movie uh, itch to scratch. Like I, with me, when we mentioned we did the Christmas one, yeah, um, and I really wanted Christmas Martian, yeah. So, um, which is something I hadn't really seen since I was a kid, um, and for good reason. It's out of its goddamn mind. Yeah, it's bananas. But it, it's kind of fun if somebody else picks that. Then I'm I'm coming along and seeing something I haven't seen. I'm like this month coming up. Um, one of the films I've seen, one of them I haven't. Yeah. So. It, it, it's going to be fun for me as well. You know, I'll be sitting through both of them open mouth, I imagine. Yeah, and 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 I think there's a, there's a bit of a sort of like a, a reoccurring thing happening is where we show, and I'm not saying it's going to be the best film ever, but the first film that we put on tends to be the better of the two. It is not. <laughs> but it may be the one that yeah, people yeah. know more of or, or have seen more or at least heard yeah, of. Yeah. The second yeah. film, we're basically... And we're getting... We're, go on. Yeah. Well, it, that's yeah. The, the the second film. What's that? You're using we're, second film. Yeah, yeah we're, we're we're going through the absolute bin waste of, of this shit that sat behind me, and finding the single worst yeah. thing you could pair it with. But the two go together brilliantly, and what we're finding is happening. Uh, yeah. People are enjoying the bizzer film more. People are enjoying the second film more. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like disengage your brain, just take the piss out of it for ninety minutes. Yeah, uh, and, and people see me. Well, prime prime example because because you're watching it, you're watching it together. Yeah, and a prime example was first first one we, we put on was the blob yep. and the stuff. And the stuff. So the blob's like it's Frank Darabont. It's, it's it, there's a lot of production value. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the 1988 remake. It's really good. Yeah. Stuff. yeah, it's just a chill. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, and yeah, the it's stuff. Just a Larry it's Cohen like the entire. Yeah, the entire crew's been drugged <laughs> and they don't know it. They've all yeah. been spiked. Because none of that film makes a lick of sense, nope. but the room was in hysterics, you know, um, because we were we were going through that together, you know, like you do in any cinema. But again, we, we don't have a cinema in Wigan. We don't have that shared experience. Mm. So uh, until we get one back, and even after we get one back now, because we're not packing this in now, no, um, we'll be doing this, you know, because uh, I, I, one thing I made a note on, mate, was um, uh, that introduction to cinema, because like. I, was, I consider myself extremely lucky at the, the time that I grew up and, and the films that were coming out. I was the perfect age when Star yeah. Wars came along. I was about five when Star Wars hit, so I spent my whole life um, mauling with that. Um, but then everything in between, like, you know, 80s and 90s were a boom and stuff when it came to just there was always something to go and see at the cinema. You could turn up and... If you couldn't get in for the one you wanted to get in for, there'd be something else, of course, and, yeah. and you would take that risk because there was none of this sort of like a, uh, you know, like films are being spoiled or whatever. So I'd turn up and go like, um, "What's this?" Oh, it's like a drama with with a uh, Matt Dillon. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll watch that yeah. then because I'm here now, you know. Yeah. And and what that tended to do was that was that was one of the ways of being introduced to a lot of cinema, and. I think cinema introduction is a thing that uh, there may be ways that it's happening now. I don't know whether people send each other like Spotify playlists of films or whatever it might be, you know, letterbox. Letterbox, like yeah, letterbox is a big but thing. You don't necessarily, yeah, you know, but I, I don't really hear much of like, um, you get reviews, everything that's known about a film before it comes out, while mm. it's out, and after it's out. There's no escaping the fact that things are going to get spoiled or whatever. You, there's, there's not much more chance of stumbling across stuff. And I think because we're aiming at the biz side of films, like yeah. that, we've got more chance of like of some young lad coming in going, what's going on here? Are you watching a film? He said, yes. 
Uh, what, what would you like to see, son? Oh, have you got anything Marvel? No, but we've got robot jocks. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Right. So it, it, yeah. they're gonna they're gonna see stuff they will have never heard of. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's it. The yeah. Joy. That's what one of my favorite elements of discovering films was like BBC Two used to put on a load of stuff mm. um, back in the day. There was a, there was always some kind of science fiction uh, run of films on a Tuesday night at six o'clock. Yeah. And I'd be discovering all these classics. That's, I meant to mention that with you, actually. But we should head back and have a look at some like good stuff, like you know, Forbidden Planet and things yeah, like that. Yeah, de- definitely. Um, and so, yeah, I, I got this big, massive sci-fi education for free on Tuesday nights at 6 o'clock. Yeah. Come in, have your tea uh, after you finish school, sit there like that in the dining room because nobody wanted to watch it with me. Mm-hmm. And all the films were in black and white anyway, so yeah. I'm sitting on this little black and white portable catching up on all these films from the 50s, like thinking, these are brilliant, you know. And that that lovely introduction that sh- things like that would do, a movie draw is another one. Yes. Um, where you stay, up, you stay up till mad o'clock on a Friday night or something, and then this fellow, softly spoken Scottish fellow, would come on and say, oh, I'll try this, mate. You, you haven't heard of this biz. And whack, you suddenly you think, who even made this film? Who even got them the money to make something like this? Um, yeah. I think I think, I think we were blessed. We were blessed in our childhood, weren't we, for that type of stuff? Yeah, I mean, I mean, definitely. I mean, uh, movie drone and stuff like that. Um, I remember the sort of tail end of it. I mean, I think movie drone started eighty eight. Did it start movie drone? Ran, ran through yeah, till yeah. did it run through till two thousand somewhere around there? Um, I know it ran for a long while. Movie drone. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, um, I know it made a bit of a comeback. Um, a while back with it, Mark, it, Mark Cousins, I think. Yeah, he did. Um, he did. Or something along those lines. But, but yeah, and and a lot of people remember. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people remember it fondly, and it showed a lot of film for the first time that had never been shown in the UK. And they showed a lot of sort of like extreme stuff and, yeah. and and band stuff and and stuff that had been headed to die hell, yeah. but they, they decided to, to to go against the the, the BBFC and, and show uncut yeah. versions or un, unedited versions. Yeah. Um, which is fantastic. I, liked, I, I really liked. Um, I really liked the the fact that it was curated. That yeah. somebody has, has sat there with every every film in history, and they've gone. I think people would like discovering this one. Like I, I always remember when people say, "What's what's a film you've seen and you don't think anyone else has seen it?" And um, whether it's good or bad, I always go for this one. Uh, the music of chance. Have you ever seen that? No, I've not um, seen that. It's a. Uh, uh, James Spader and Mandy right, Patinkin. Okay. Um, and Jim, James Spader's a, um, he's like a gambler. He's a, he's a hustler. And right. uh, he's playing against these two fellas who are dressed like the, the Colonel from KFC. Right. There's a thin one and a fat one. <laughs> and uh, Mandy Patinkin's, Mandy Patinkin's watching him play and he's saying, Oh, he's good. This fellow, like for whatever reason, he's, he's had a run of bad luck and he ends up like giving him the money to make this big bet with them. And they said, right. all right, well, uh, if you lose, then you have, to do, you have to do something for us. And it's just the maddest little film. Like, there's about six actors in it, right? So they, they lose the bet, and the two of them, because they're tied within this bet, um, they get taken to the middle of nowhere in this forest into this caravan, and this caravan is next to this field. And the, they get told, you've got to build a wall on this field. It's a massive right. big wall, right? And there's no, I don't think it's ever really actually explained, you know, I've got to build this wall under the pain of death. If they try and escape, somebody will kill him. Right. And you're right. like, what's this film? Right. And I'd never heard of it before then. I've hardly heard anything about it since. But Alex Cox came along and said, I think somebody out there is going to like this. I think somebody out there is going to, going to see a film that they haven't, even heard of before them. Yeah. It wouldn't have even, unlike today where every film history is online for you to easily find. Yeah. Stumbling across things, you've you found yourself. So it, it's as if it belongs to you. you know? Yeah, it does. You, you, you find something and you, you can pass it to your mates or you can say, does anyone fancy watching this with me? It's yours then. It's like you found it, you know? Yeah. The the, the, the big one that, that set me up and it was, it was, Sort of later on, um, I, I wasn't in my teens or anything when this happened. I, I, it was have been late nineties, I think, mid to late nineties. Um, was when Mercamore decided that in your forties uh, then, in my forties, yeah. 
Um, <laughs> Matt Cabal has got to uh, do the um, the extreme showings on Film Four, Channel Four. Do you remember those? We did, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah. Matt, yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of Matt Cabal. I, I, I think he's brilliant. I think he's underused yeah. massively. The guy should have got his own his own show, and he he only ever plays second fiddle to somebody else constantly. Um, but the films yeah. that he the films yeah. that he showed at that particular time. Um, are still films that I go back to now. I mean, he showed he showed Brain Dead, he showed Shivers, he showed Tenebrae, he showed, oh, nice. he showed Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was the first person in the UK yeah, yeah. to introduce a show Hair Boiled. Um, you, you know what I mean? It, it's oh, did he right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so, the, so the guy's got like a a, a lot yeah. of influence and grown to him, and I, I I think a lot of people don't sort of nor what he actually did for the kind of film that we're into. He, he's, he's a massive fan of it. Yeah. But he does he, he reviews virtually well, that, any film that, that comes to market, but he, he, he's really into sort of the kind yeah. of stuff that we're into, which I find brilliant, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, that that sounds like that hit at the same time for you, because you're 40 years younger than me, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So that, that sounds like that hit at the same time for you as, like, Movie Drum did to, for me. Yeah. Um, and I, I know full well he's he's a Kermode's a massive fan of, of what Movie Drum did. Yes, huge. Um, yeah, he was probably doing that for him because of his age and stuff like that. Uh, it was that thing of finding films, yeah, finding them and putting, getting going to your obscure dust covered DVD VHS collection, yeah, and finding something and you think no nobody's putting this out now for an audience now, and I, I, I honestly think I think that's the basis for a lot of you know the remakes that get done through Hollywood. Yeah. Um, oh, we're going to need a psych- psycho doing again and all this stuff. And you think, well, hold on a minute, you want to remake a perfect film. Yeah. But I always questioned it that way. I never understood why they did it, but it makes total sense. They're, they're making it for an audience who will have never even heard of it. Yeah, making it you for know, a completely different audience. audience. Yeah. I'd, yeah, I did. I did. Um, I do lecturing now and again down at the college on a concept art course. And... Um, try and teach them about the basics of like, if you can get a good silhouette of your character, that's recognizable. Like Mickey Mouse, for example, you can recognize him from just seeing him back yeah. against white um, because of the shape, because of the shape of him. And I said, you know, like um, Boba Fett's armor, you know what I mean? And the, all these kids are like, what's, what's a Boba Fett? <laughs> and I, you know, you've got the urge to peel them yeah, and yeah. put them in a bag of salt <laughs> and teach them a lesson. But you're like, well, hold on a minute. It's, it's, it's not their fault. You know, they're, they're just young. Yeah. You know, if my if my dad was to tell me, like, um, have you heard this song? And, and me go, what's that old man? Yeah. Have you not heard it? Stone Roses. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> generations come and generations move on. And now I wouldn't know what the Christ my son's watching. But at the same time, I know if I, I'll, I'll know that if I can put something on for him that I, I know he'll connect with, he might discover that looking back at films might be just as much fun as waiting for the Super Mario Brothers 2 or whatever it is. Yeah, I um, mean... I, I, think, I think that's... Get him. Go on, mate, sorry. Yeah, no, it, 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 I mean, you're right. I mean, remake, the way I look at sort of films that are remade today, modern remakes, those films... Uh, made for me. Those films are aimed at me. Those films no, are no. aimed at a new, no. young, modern audience, and it's 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 quite yeah, noticeable, especially with some of the younger guys that I work with. When you talk about film and you talk about new films, and they've seen this particular remake, it doesn't matter what it is, but they've seen this remake, and they don't know about the original film. When you tell them about the original film, so they go back to watch it. You couldn't work on Monday morning, so so did yeah. did, did you watch uh, the the uh, the original True Grit? You know what I mean. And they went. I only got yeah. I only got twenty minutes in, and I had to turn it off. And I go, why? Because uh, it's old. <laughs> and you go right, okay. I'm I, I'm a miss something just because it's oh, old. Yeah. You've, you've 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 turned it off. Uh, and I think a modern yeah, audience we've, we've, really we've got to be ready. To we've got to be ready. Yeah. No. All yeah, the all all be ready to yeah. sort of like um, let it go. Yeah, I think all the guys like us or all the people like us can look at modern film and think, yeah, okay, it's not for me, but I may get something out of it at some point. 
But I think a younger generation, yeah. unlike yeah. us, that can look back and we enjoy all the film, 50s and 60s and 70s stuff, a modern generation now is looking back yeah. at stuff from the 90s and the 2000s and going, I can't watch that because it's old. It's old looking. Uh, and, you, and you go, <laughs> I know, right, yeah. okay. Mate, it's like the, so, perfect case in point, that acceptance of like um, it's new stuff's coming along and it's not for us. Our, our cinema going experience, um, that reverence we have for films that we, for a, the longest time when you're younger, you think everyone else should have the same reverence for this yeah. film. Like, you know, if I was like 20 years younger and I'd met someone who didn't like Star Wars, I'd, I'd sky him. Yeah. But it's like, it, why would a kid want to watch something that's like 89 episodes long with 5,000 TV shows when it doesn't click with them? You know? Yeah. Um, We've got to let them, we've got to let that next generation decide what they're doing. Saying all that, um, and trying to, trying to keep us to what sort of time we were going to do on this type of yeah. thing, because I could go on all night here. But um, saying that, though, um, I, I always I always loved, I always uh, um, admired and, and think back fondly on things like Movie Drone. And yes. very specifically, those um, season, seasons of sci-fi movies that BBC Two had put out on, a, on yeah. six o'clock on a Tuesday, because it was it, it was my little corner. It was like um, it's like this nonsense. Yeah, um, it's my little corner where I, I get to go and plug my head in and, and see all the stuff that I love seeing, and to to discover new stuff in that similar vein. And I think. Um, not only our town, but plenty of towns across the world now don't get that introduction as much as they did. Now, of course, you might have friends recommend things and stuff, but what we've hit on here, I think, and the reason we're enjoying it, I, mean, I don't want to speak for you as well, but I know we've, we've talked about this, is we've started it for us. Yeah, but, yeah basically. We wanted to get something from it. and We're trying to recapt recapture what Movie Drone was doing, but I think... In the course of the eight ones we've had, is it? Yeah, um, yeah, this, eight, yeah, this think, will be the eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. In the course of those eight, I, I feel like it's turning into something else. I feel like it's turning into, oh, we can do this for for others, you know. Yeah. Uh, and seeing those lads come in, those young lads, and I've noticed. I don't know whether somebody's getting them wet, like in Gremlins, but every time they come in, they've got another one, right? They're multiplying. <laughs> yeah, so multiplying. Like, they're multiplying, yeah. Um, but like, it, it started with like um, a lovely fella um, coming in with his with his son. He brought his son in, and, and yeah, they watched the thing. I think it was or something like that. And then the next time he brought a mate. Yeah. The next time it was two mates. And last week he had three mates with him, <laughs> and I'm, I'm I'm expecting a school bus to rock up. And saying, "Come on, Robocop three. Where's this jetpack? <laughs> Where's that flying robot?" But, but that's, <laughs> but that's what's that's what's dead good. I'm, I'm slowly discovering we can sort of give them something where they're going to discover it in our weird, dark little corner where all these people are gathering. Yeah, and and there's so many different types of people. I'd like you say, I know there's a similar vein to like. We say we're putting a carpenter film on. They're going to go, yeah, I'll, I'll be turning up. For yeah, that. but we're noticing people turn up who we haven't seen at other ones. So maybe there's something in the choice of films we're putting on that's drawing them in. But I'd like to think it's also the fact that it's a little space. It's a little. It's a club. Yeah, it is a club. It's, it's exactly what a club yeah. should be. It's something that appeals to people and it's somewhere where they can go and they can find something new in it. Yeah, yeah, that they it, haven't seen, you know yeah, what I mean? I mean, most definitely. I mean, I, I think the 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 one thing to to come from it was that the people into the kind of film that we're into. Now, we we talk about this kind of stuff all the time. We bullshit about it about all the time. It's just the norm yeah. for us. But if you're a person that's into this kind of thing, but none of your friends are, and none of your social circle is, and none of your family yeah. is, you're quite alienated. Because it, it, it's yeah. it's a it's a bizarre kind yeah. of thing to be into, and Danny, who's, who's come to the club yeah. from day one, got involved. Uh, he thought he was on yeah. his own in Wigan. He didn't think there was anybody else in Wigan that liked oh, the stuff he? that he liked. And then yeah. the second he came across us, because he was right. like one of the first people to come across us, and uh, when he came across us, he was like, "Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. Other people like the things I like." Yeah. 
And I think slowly but surely, yeah. I think that's what's happening. There's like little light bulbs going off all over Wigan. Going, shit, man, there's like people yeah. like me gathering once a month to, to talk. Yeah, yeah. And, and, the, and the beauty about the stuff that we do is people come, people turn up, people have a beer. You don't have to be quiet. You can chat, you can take the piss, you can yeah. have a laugh, you can get up, get do what you want. And I think it brings yeah. a little bit of a different environment with it, that it's more relaxed. People don't feel they yeah, have yeah. to sit there and, and not interact yeah. and, and be socially quiet. Yeah, it's not like it's not like the cinema. No. Yeah, it's not like the cinema because I, 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 I will start a fight with you if yeah. you get your phone out in the cinema because yeah. I'm, I'm not paying 10 quid to, to see you who's texting you. Yeah. But this is a different feel to it. And I was worried that some of the people who are seeing these films for the first time might be missing stuff because we're going, look at the size of his head, look at the size yeah. of his head, or whatever it is we're shouting at the screen. Um, but they're not. They're, they seem to be in the in the mood of it, and it's a bit like a bit like going to the pictures in America, where people are going, yeah. ha, ha, like laughing their head off or pointing and saying, yeah. "I hope he wins." And stuff like yeah. that. Um, it, it, it's kind of nice that they're seeing it, and and hopefully those those guys who came along and saw the thing for the first time, maybe the sound wasn't brilliant, or maybe we were talking over it, it was a bit dark. But I'm hoping they've gone away and they've gone. Should we watch that again? Should we? Yeah. Shall pick a cup, yeah. Shall pick a copy up, yeah. Should we see it for ourselves on our telly and stuff like that. And it, it's a, it's the beginning of a the whole thing. I think is the beginning of a dialogue. Where we're not we're not passing down beautiful, wondrous um, like uh, treasures to other people. No. But I, I'm I'm hoping that I'm hoping that even if it's it doesn't matter whether it's kids, old people, whatever who are coming along, I, I would love for somebody to pull up on the horse outside like that. You know, or, and like get the mum to pick them up in the Porsche later on, and they've got nothing to do with any of this biz like that, yeah. that we do or that we're into. And the, they're going, Oh, what's that up those stairs? Mm. What's those lights? And they, and they come up and, and we're watching, I don't know, Brigadier Robot Jocks or something, yeah, yeah. or Blood Sport. And Blood they come Sport. in and they go, oh, Why is John Claude Van Damme wearing a beautiful lemon jacket winking at people? <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. Right. And, and you think, I, it's, it's like converting somebody. It's like saying, "There's your little first taste. Now off you go. Go and see, get, get in the bargain bin in HMV. Yeah. See what you can find, right? Um, and then just and suddenly, like it's opening up something that they're never going to find following that algorithm in Netflix. No, they're never going to stumble across that stuff unless you try that one or two of them. Like my mate Steve, our mate Steve, um, his algorithm in. Um, Amazon Prime is all found footage bits, and he, it's because he loves it, and like, and he knows what he's looking for, and he finds the films that he loves. But he, to find them on Amazon Prime, you would have to know that you were looking for one first. Yeah, and some people wouldn't know where to begin to to, to look for something that's just like alien to them. And yeah. I'm hoping like they'll, they'll come in, in the 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 book the game of pool. And they come in and they walk past that screen, going, "Why is that fella's head coming off?" And you go, "All right, well, I'll watch this." And then they've, they've had a taste of it, and suddenly the shelves are filled with crap. And that, and you think, "What you spent? You spent a thousand pounds on Jurassic Park toys? What's up here?" <laughs> um, and and it, it does. It did for a while though. When when we lost our cinema, it, it, it summer hit hard, and it was like people don't discover stuff at the cinema. Um, so they certainly can't at ours because we haven't got one. Yeah. My wife take used to take me little lad on a Sunday morning to the kids' club yeah, yeah. Um, in Wigan. And most of the stuff was just biz, you know, minions, whatever else. But they went once and it was uh and one week it was like CGI crocodile singing songs by someone mm-hmm. off X Factor and he said, Oh, I don't fancy that. And then the next week it was um Marcel de Shell. Right, yeah, cool. You, you see the trailer for that one, yeah, yeah. a little animation. Yeah. And I thought I thought whimsical story about small shell like talking quietly and yeah. trying to find his his family and getting yeah. sad. Right, I don't think my lad's going to go for that because he's he's taken to Thundercats like a, a cat to <laughs> yeah. know, milk. Yeah. But he's um, he, he, we we took him to that and he was just transfixed. And I thought this is what the cinema should be doing. Yeah, this should be introducing stuff. And I, I love the fact that they were putting those little kids' films on, and in the middle of it, they've gone, let's try him with this. You know, and they just chucked it in there, and he come away, and he was like, "I really enjoyed that." Where's my son? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Who swapped him out? Right? <laughs> it wasn't because he didn't have Paw Patrol in it. <laughs> so what's going on? But he, he had that little taster. Yeah, of course. He had that little taster, you know, and uh, 
And that, and that's, that's what that's, we're looking to do, I think, isn't it? Yeah, and I think that's what it is all about. You know what I mean? From our point of view, you know what I mean? It was it was the sole reason that we do something. It wasn't just about us being entertained, but it was about entertaining others as well. As, uh, and, and and the beauty of it, you know what I mean, which I've, I've mentioned before yeah. and I'll keep on mentioning, is it's totally free. It doesn't cost you a damn penny. You know what I mean? So you could you could come to one of our ah, yes. you, you could come to one of our nights with a couple of pounds <laughs> yeah. in your pocket, get a bag of crisps and a and a, and a pint of pop, and watch two films yeah. and, and and go away and have a, a bag of very smelly crisps. Smelly crisps. Have a, you can have a go on the club raffle for a yeah. pound, and you may come away with a yeah. nice prize. Or you know what I mean? And 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 to sort of like yeah, exactly. So what we should do is we were we were talking about this. Because we're starting to do this podcasty thing or whatever the digital magic is, yeah. Um, we'll, we're obviously just finding our feet with this, but we're trying to find out, like, um, should we have like an introduction where we come on the same way every <laughs> week or something like that and then disappear again at the end <laughs> of the program? Just turn it in. Um, we're trying to find what, yeah, what, <laughs> or just like using somebody else instead. Like, good, good evening, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hi, yeah, I'm Dave. I'm from Wigan. Cheers. All the best. <laughs> but, um, what we're trying to figure out is um, what do we use this platform for? Because, like, you know, we can't really put the films on here. We'd, we'd rather you come and watch them with us yeah. in, in town. Um, so we, we were starting to make a bit of a list about some of the stuff we can mention on this thing, if we're going to make it a bit regular. One is we were thinking about using this to reveal what next couple of films are coming up. Because what we do is our format is every month um, – we put two films on, don't we? we yeah. Um, one of them that could probably pass if if your man was in the room, and the other one you couldn't watch within five hundred miles of a, of a yeah, church. Yeah, it's anybody's um, guess and, if and anybody so, actually knows what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we like to put two films on, uh, and to be fair, some people stay for the first one and off they go, and the people who stay for the second one tend to get a bit slaughtered. Um, yeah. But it's it's kind of nice that you can have that mix, and if you want to stay from both, of course you can because we do that. Um, yeah. So every month we put two films on, um, and it's free. It's it's as free as air. Uh, yes. Um, and uh, rock up, come in when you want, leave when you want. Um, chat with whoever's there. Um, Tony brings uh, big bags of stuff uh, every week. Uh, we've got a stack of DVDs that I that we just give away. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, we have a free film table. Yeah. Um, however, yeah. How, however, if stealth was in that stack, <laughs> I'd have it. Yeah. Right. But um, so we've, we've got a stack of DVDs like that. So every every week, if you fancy one of them, just take it. Right. And Tony brings a load of posters over as well. You can grab some of them, yeah. and it, it, it's. It's proper obscure bits, yes. but it's fun to go through, trust me. Um, and then every every time we do it as well, we try to do a raffle. So it might be that I might bring some of my artwork along or Tony's found something in a shop somewhere, a, a book on like Michael Caine's yeah. hand or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then usually we've got something that somebody might, might actually want. And to, and for that, what we do is we'll have a little bit of a raffle. You know, so I can't remember how much it is. It's a quid. It's a quid. It's a quid, it's a quid, a quid a and everyone chucks in. Yeah. So uh, what happens is every time we do it, you took a bit of money in and the same lad wins every time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that lad out of that band. Danny. His, his house must be absolutely rammed with stuff, honestly. <laughs> but uh, but it, it's kind of fun. You know, you have, your, have a little raffle, whatever. But remember, it's it's free. It's free as you like. Um, yep. If you're bored on... One of the nights that we're doing it, it's in the middle of town, right in the middle of Anderton Sports Bar. And you can rock up, just walk up the stairs, don't have to do nothing. You can come in and sit in silence if you want. You can come in with the best top hat you've ever bought in your life as well and have a big conversation. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Um, we're going to be there every time. Uh, and there are we've got a few regulars now as well. Um, we are. Don't be intimidated by anyone talking or banging on about anything. Um, approach any of us at any time. and. Uh, and get the film talk going. That's what we like. It is. And like, like as, what was I going to ask? We were going to say, oh, um, go on, sorry, mate. No, no, I was just going to say, as, 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 as the, the sort of club's been uh, Miranda along nicely over the last few months, we've put a, a, a few little things in place. We can buy some merch. So we have uh, yep. Davey Sporting Lovely there. I've not got my oh, own, yes. but Dave's got his, his lovely t shirt on. Check that bad boy out. 
So if you go to currently, if yep. you go to T Public and search for Wigan Cult Film Club over at T Public, you'll see the t shirts that we've got over there. There's two different kinds. If you look on the Facebook page, you'll see both designs. Um, they've been flying out like hotcakes. Um, if you like the artwork that Dave's doing, monthly poster that, that, that goes up. Uh, those, those, those posters are available to buy as well now. So if anybody would like a copy of the posters, the uh, A2 in size. Buy. And they, they, yeah. <laughs> Someone uh, buying them. Yeah. Absolutely mad. Uh, and they are priced at £8. Uh, the quality is really, really good. Same with the T-shirts. The quality, the, the, the £15 when they're on sale. Uh, always wait till they've gone on sale. Don't pay the full price for them. Wait till they're at sale price at £15. Uh, but they're really <laughs> good like quality too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what we're saying is that we, as, as a club, we don't generate really any money. That was never the idea. That was never the thing. But with the T-shirts, we earn a couple of pound off per T-shirt. With the posters, we earn a couple of pound per poster. And then any money that we get back uh, from those two things currently goes back into the club. So if the club needs um, posters uh, printed out to go up around town, if I need a new raffle ticket book, if I need whatever, um, that little bit of money just goes in for the stuff we need for the club and it helps. It, it does help massively. Um, but like I say, we, as, as a rule, we, we don't do this for making money. It's never been about making money. We're never going to make any money. Um, it's just for the sheer love of it. Uh and for the sheer sort of camaraderie yeah. that 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 it's that it's brought together from like minded yeah. people in the in the Wigan Borough. Uh because like I said, I think, yeah. I think people yeah. did feel they was probably out on a limb liking this kind of thing. Uh when the the reality is there's loads of people yeah. out there that like this. We're not which, just... is, which is pretty much shown the last week because how many people have we had drop on the on the, the Facebook page in the last week? About hundred. You know what I mean? It's been unreal. Oh yeah. It's a few hundred now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like yeah, I, I don't know what's wrong with them all. Yeah. But it's it's it, well, I mean, I don't know if they're expecting like, um, oh, I hope they put like a Marvel film on next week or something like that. No, yeah. no, my no. friends, that's, this not, is not, that's not happening. No, no. We're, we're, all we're doing is we're building up to Transformers: The Animated Movie from 1986, right? <laughs> and nothing's ever going to top that. So once we've done that, we're burning the building down. Yeah, and you can all go and watch what you've all have learned, everything you need to know about life. Yeah. But, um, so, so there's all that stuff that Tony said. We're, we're, but one one thing we'd have to say, I don't know whether they'd even watch this, but uh, we have to thank Amberton's The Bar. Yes. Let us put this stuff on for now. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. They, let, they let us in into the lovely home and they let us put these films on. So there's a kind of like a... We, we respect what they're doing. They've still got to open to the, the public and punters, but that yep. works for us as well because they can just... come in and they see we're watching a film and they can sit and join us, you know. Um, and it's kind of nice. It's kind of it's kind of weird, but it's kind of nice. There's some lads in the corner who play pool every week. Yep. Um, while we're watching films, it's nice. Um, so thanks to them, and thanks to Tony putting all this, dragging all the stuff there and back every week, and our Pete lending us the projector sometimes. Projector and that, yeah. Because um, it can get a bit bodgy, you know. We've, we've lit, yeah. We've yeah, lit a few speaker cables and stuck them in things to see if it works sometimes. But um, yeah, that, that, that's I think that's the beauty of it all. It, it's it, nice. It's, 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 yeah. It, it's making a thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, like I say, if, if if you know us, we're not we're not we're not massively tech savvy. You know what I mean? We're we're, we're running a system that that's integrated into the bar that we're using. That was the whole idea behind it. And when we do get a problem or something does go wrong, does go yeah. wrong, I normally panic for twenty minutes till someone comes in and kind me out and goes, "Have you tried sticking this lead in there?" You know what I mean? <laughs> like, um, <laughs> but no, again, I, I, yeah. we a, tried putting the tape in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> What do you mean you played it off an MP4? You've got the DVD here. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but no, yeah, yeah, a, a yeah. massive, massive thanks but, uh, to Brad over I mean, at Hanson's. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's a fantastic venue. He's a really nice yeah. guy. He's really enthusiastic about what we do, um, which is brilliant because I didn't think anybody would, would have really cared what we're doing. You know what I mean? I didn't think anybody would. But he's, nah. he's, he's yeah. grabbed all of both hands yeah. and gone, yeah, lads, go for it. So... It's been it's been fantastic, and then everybody that's really got involved right from right from the get go, yeah, yeah. um, of, of everyone's jumped in with both feet and really got involved and pushed it and spread the word and had nothing but good things to say about yeah. it. I think people, you, yeah. people are enjoying it because people are coming back. Yeah, 
just coming back. People are coming back and bringing other people with them. So we must be doing something right. You know what I mean? It's yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I, th- I think there's something to be said for the fact that I, I was worried a bit. Like um, there's a couple of times I've been and I thought, oh, I'm talking to the same people here each time, and it's lovely because yeah, it's we're starting to get a nice little community of people and, and some of them are even sort of like, oh, we'll go out and have a drink on this night on the whatever. Yeah. Um, but I was, I'm very aware, like I, I don't want anyone feeling intimidated by a group of people who are getting together in a little secret club yeah. um, to eat the smelliest crisp you can imagine and, and watch these films together. Um, we've had a few people come in at, at the last one we did and I made a point, oh, I'll go and talk to them. And yeah. See how they're going. And, and I'd, I would hope that anyone who comes in feels that they can do that. You know, um, if you come in and you think it looks weird and it feels weird and everything, just make yourself comfy. Do whatever you need to do to make yourself comfy. But anybody there is very approachable. Um, yeah, we have yeah. a, a minimal dickhead level at the minute. Yes. Um, uh, this is about as bad as it gets, me and Tony, really. <laughs> and you, you can guess what we're like off this. Um, everybody else seems, we, we seem to have hit all like a, a nice crowd, yes. you know. Um, some people sit there quietly watching. They don't really talk to people. Other people come in and go, ah, what was what it this week? Ha, 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 yeah, laughing yeah. like King Rollo and, and, and jumping about. But, but I don't want any, I wouldn't like anyone to turn up and think, or see the poster and think, it's not for me. That, I don't fancy trying that because it's a little bit intimidating. It's yeah. like starting reading Judge Dredd now. You know, like, um, it, don't be talking to people who've, who've known it for years. It's a bit too intimidating. Um, it, it's not. I'm, I'm, we would hope that people didn't think that. We'd hope you can just rock up and say, um, well, I see they're showing something that I quite fancy. I'll yeah. go and watch that. And you're very welcome to sit and watch it quietly. Or you're very welcome to grab a pint of Vimto like me and just yeah. um, bang on all the way through it. Um, we've been lucky, I think. Um, a very, that, very lucky. That first one, when we did that first one, all, yeah, they all came in. Uh, and I thought, and we, me and Tony are looking at each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going, Looks this. Yeah. Well, where have they come from? And then we've, we've forgotten that he'd advertised it and yeah. put it on Facebook. Yeah, there's people. Yeah. And they seem to be responding to the fact that we are putting this, this brilliant crap on, you know, that we love. Um, and hopefully it's stuff they love. And again, the recommendations are coming in thick and fast. So we're using them to choose some of the other stuff. If you really want to see something, write to us on the Facebook page. Yep. Uh, message us on wherever the hell we yeah, are on here. Facebook or Where Instagram, are we, Tony? In space or something? We're in space. We're in space, but you'll find, you'll yeah. find this on... Message us uh, in space, on, here. Yeah. yeah. You've also found us in you, on YouTube, so this will be going up onto YouTube. So we will... I'll leave some... Um, yeah. Uh, links down below. I'll leave an email address and contact where you can get us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, this is also going up onto Podbean yeah. as well as as a, as a podcast form. Uh, so cool. I'll put all the details on Podbean as well as so people can find us there. Um, hey, again, hey, hey, hey. can I say that thing? Can I say that thing that, uh, all the the youngers say? Can I say that thing? What? Like and, well, like and subscribe. <laughs> like, like and subscribe. Click like and click your subscribe. Share, share the content. No. Like and subscribe. It. Um, it I, I, I think. Man. Yeah. yeah as, my lad will be very pleased. I said that. <laughs> me, me being a YouTuber as well as. Um, obviously, I I know the format and yeah. I put a couple of videos up. And the response to the videos that we've been getting on here, considering we've only got currently 18 subscribers for the YouTube channel that we've got, in comparison to where I've got 1,500 subscribers on my own personal YouTube channel, I am getting more views off the Wigan Film Club stuff currently than I am on my own stuff. <laughs> so, so people out there are into this kind of stuff. If you, if you so look around... You just have to combine them. Yeah, I mean, I, I, to, to be fair, mate, if this takes off, Mass of the 80s can kiss my ass. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's dumb. I will make over five pounds <laughs> off this one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do, do that thing. Can you? Can we pause this recording? Uh, yeah. Can we Can we pause it? Pause it? Uh, no. Only Just it. pause it for a sec. Hold on. Will it pause? Well, we or if we'll pause or not? All right. Well, well, if that's the case, yeah. then no, you can't. Then, um, we'll end it in a sec because 
Oh, you can. Hold on. No, it's not done nothing. Well, it's done it. <laughs> I pressed pause, okay. nothing happened. Well, so what you're going to see, ladies and gentlemen, is you're, you're going to see a grown man wet himself on YouTube. Good times. <laughs> 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 so at that point, oh, man. Oh. on that bombshell, um, Go on. Yeah, yeah, again, people, thank, thank, thank you very much if, if you're tuning into these. Uh, uh, this, this is going to be, I, I don't know, maybe a couple of times a month. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll take it from yeah. here and see, see how, it, how it rolls. But again, if other people want to get involved, if people from the club want to doesn't. get involved, yeah. Um, and if you would like to come on here and talk biz with myself and Dave, or if you just want to talk biz with me or biz with Dave, or however you want to do it, contact us. Don't be shy. Uh, you can drop onto the podcast or the YouTube channel whenever you like. We'll talk about this kind of stuff. Another thing as well as we'll be looking at guests at some point and we'll, we'll be going through uh, some little scenarios and Yes, keep, talking to him. keep talking to him. <laughs> David's off, ladies and gentlemen. Keep talking to him. <laughs> gentlemen, he's going. Um, if, if it's something that you, you would do, if it's something that you'd like to get involved with, if you'd like to join myself and Dave uh, on the podcast uh, or on the video cast, if it's going on YouTube, you're more than welcome to. Uh, just con your contact us again on, on Facebook or Instagram, or again, if you have a look down below in the details. Uh, the uh, the club email address is going to be down there. Um, it is it is one of those things where going forward, uh, I would like us to get some guests on. I know some perfect people that that would that would fit really well in this with some of the sort of theme nights that we've got coming up, and also some of the themes that we've got for this podcast going forward. Um, that would that would fit brilliantly into some of the subject matters that we've got for this kind of thing. Um, so going forwards, there's there's a lot in the pipelines. There's there's a lot that's going to be coming. Uh, he's back. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> Fresh. But, um, yeah. So I I, I really like to to push this a little bit. See what we can get with. What you're going to see as well as if anybody caught the little YouTube short I put up the other day. Uh, I am going to start um, a little video. Um, nothing too intense, nothing, nothing too in depth uh, about the um, cult film club archive, as I'm like to it, that's behind me now. Uh, the shelves of crap. Um, where I'm going to be going through some films, uh, mm -hmm. generally by studio or boutique company that's released certain things, uh, and we'll start going through some of the stuff in there. And what that'll do, that'll sort of like free, free some ideas for people. So if they were thinking about it or thinking about a particular film and they can see that it's sat in the collection behind me, they can go, oh, well, in that video, uh, you had an Arrow video title and in that one, you had an 88 film title. Do you think you could put those two together? Yeah, of course. In that way, I thought people know what I've got sat Do I like to? So, get, do I like to? I can see behind your head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's down on the bottom shelf where no one can see it on these videos. I once got caught out that once before and uh, some someone said... Um, why have you got pitch perfect one, two, and three? And I went, I've not got pitch perfect one, two, and three. They went, don't lie, I've fucking seen them down there. I was like, bastard. So... <laughs> <laughs> um, I've, I've got no chance of, of, of having anything that cool on my shelf. I, I would get people saying, why have you got the boys in blue with cannon and ball? <laughs> <laughs> Those kind of films, I've got a Norman Wisdom box set up there, so... You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but again, folks, if, if, if there's any that you want to try and, you know what I mean, you want to put across for, for things that me, to me and Dave to talk about, or for, for myself and Dave and guests to talk about, obviously leave some comments down below. Uh, contact us wherever you need to contact us. Uh, and we'll, we'll have a look at it. You know what I mean? There's, there's, there's no bad ideas. There's, there's only things not yet looked into. Um, so, you know what I mean? Don't be frightened of contacting any of us right. and, and, and just going, you know what I mean? What about this? Yeah. And we'll always have a look at something. Never be frightened about, about contacting us or speaking to us at a, at a club night or whatever yeah. it is. Uh, we, are, we are more than accessible and we are more than friendly when it comes to this kind of stuff. We will talk a glass night to sleep about this kind of stuff if you want to talk about it. Um, so right. yes, yeah, so um, speaking of um, no, I was, I was gonna say we, we talked about like um 
because we should be wrapping up. I reckon we were going to do half yeah. an hour. Yeah, we, that, we, that yeah, we've smashed wherever it is. We've, we've smashed um, an hour. Yeah. Um, so we were going to talk about um, using this uh, platform to announce what films will show at the next event. Um, yes. And uh, as as is already on our um, our Facebook page, uh, our next uh, double bill showing is titled uh, "May of the Dead." Um, yes, it is. And uh, Tony, you can tell them which which films uh, we're going to be we're going to be sticking on. Okay, so the vast array of zombie films is frightening from the over over ridiculous gore fests of the, of the Italian scene in the late seventies, early eighties, right up to the sort of early two thousands cheese fests. Uh, I think what zombies are, are one of the sort of like horror horror sort of staples that's never really gone away. Um, it's been done in every combination you can think of, uh, but. Um, we have a core element of the club that like gore. We have a core element of the club that like cheese. Uh, so I have slammed two together. And the first reveal for the first film that is going to be showing at 7 o'clock on the... Is it the 30th? What the bloody date is now? The 30th of May, I think 30th, it is. yeah. Thursday yeah. the 30th. So 30th of Thursday... Yeah. Thursday the 30th of May, try saying that without uh, putting your teeth in. Um, we'll start at 7 o'clock and we are going off with Zombie Flesh Eaters. So Zombie Flesh Eaters will be the first film that we are going to be showing. Uh, yeah. This was for in abundance. Uh, this was the one that people really wanted to see. Now initially, um, I was going to do, go down the route of showing the original Dawn of the until I realised how fucking long that film is, and it's about three days, uh, which doesn't work for us. Most films that we have to do have to be around 90 to 100 minutes, so we can get them through the time slots. Uh, and Zombie Flesh Eaters fits perfectly. Um, this was a video on Nasty. This was a banned film in the UK. Uh, Zombie Flesh Eaters is known as in the UK, aka Zombie. It was known as everywhere else. Um, this is an Italian exploitation film um, that, that rolled off the back of um, what was uh, the, the zombie films that George A. Romero did. Uh, and this was probably the best one that came out of the Italian exploitation stuff. Uh, this is the biggest goal that you'll ever see. He's got a fantastic score to the film. By, is, it Gobl is that a Goblin score, this one? I always get confused. I think it is. Somebody will tell me if it's wrong. Um, uh, but it's it, it, it's it's remember. fantastic. It's a fantastic. They will kill me for not knowing. But I'm... yeah, I'm I'm sure it's. I'm sure people did the the soundtrack for this. But again, somebody will tell me if I'm if I'm wrong. Uh, uh, so that's the first film, uh, which is an absolute banger. Uh, if you've never seen Zombie Flesh Eaters, you you're in for a gore festive treat. The second. Right, again, you know what we're trying to do with this format now. We're trying to stay within the theme, so obviously this is zombies, but we're trying to look a bit more obscure and a bit more way out there. The film which is going to be showing at 9pm on the earth is The Boneyard. Now, a lot of people have probably never come across this film. Believe me, for those people that were there for the stuff... And for the never people, will again. Yes, and for those people that was there to watch Mosquito, the last one we did, if those people come to watch this film in the frame of mind that we watched uh, the Chocolate Chip Charlie in, then uh, the Boneyard is going to be right up your alley. Um, <laughs> this is a fantastic zombie film set in a morgue inside a hospital. Uh, it's late 80s. I think it's 1988, this film. So the special effects, again, a little bit better, but it's really slapstick. Um, it's funny, but it's also gory and gruesome as well as it's an absolute blinder. It's not many people have heard of. Uh, but if you're a zombie fan, then this is one you should check out. Is the Boneyard? At some point, we'll drop trailers for both films uh, up on the Facebook page. Um, but again, that's the reveal. Those are the two films that we're going to be showing. Um, so <clears> there we go. Yeah. Um, suppose, uh, when um, when the uh, when this podcast goes out as well. Yeah, yeah. When this podcast goes out as well, we'll um, we'll stick the poster up uh, for it. We will, and um, we've learned a little bit about te technology. Yeah, yes. 
we learned a little bit about technology. So if you see that poster up in HMV or Tesco, if they let us, which they probably won't, um, yeah. I've worked out how to make a QR code. Yes, I have. Ooh. And you point your phone at it and it goes, bleep, bleep, get to Anderton's bar. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, get to Anderton's bar and watch some grot because that's, that's what we're after. That's what um, we are all about. So there's our two films coming up. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try and... Uh, shorten this nonsense uh, for the next time. Try and keep it short and sweet. Talk yes. a bit about uh, whatever else comes up between now and then. Um, but we'll also um, don't worry if your zombie film isn't on that list of two, because <laughs> yeah. there's, there's more zombie films than that, <laughs> and there's more months in the year. So yeah. what we're going to do is yes. when we get another month of another year, we'll go out to have another zombie night, just like when we we did Insect Night the other night, and we actually did a spider film and yes. the mosquito film spider not being an insect as someone insect. pointed out thanks very much it is an arachnid but yeah. um there are approximately 8904 <laughs> insect films <laughs> that we can use for the next one yes right? so it, it, it we're not short of, of things to put on um we're just uh we're just putting on the stuff that we think is going to be fun for one night so yeah and, 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 and so, something like doing may of the dead you know what i mean that that, right. that that's going to be a recurrence uh, th- throughout the years now. Um, go out, and they're always a fun time. So there we yeah. go. Um, yeah. Right, mate. So, so we've got some uh, we've got some crazy delays going on between me and you um, on okay, this okay. Uh, format. So um, I'll I'll leave enough of a gap. Uh, I'll say uh, like thanks for watching whatever nonsense we've just been doing, um, and. Uh, We'll see you at the next one, or we'll see you on the 30th uh, in Anderton's Bar on Wallgate in Wigan. Yes. Uh, about half six, Thursday the 30th of May, for a little bit of grot and zombie fun, and uh, we might bring some sweets if you're nice. If you're very good. So thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you yeah. very much for checking us out over on Facebook and over on Instagram. If you're listening to us on Podbean, thank you very much. If you're checking us out on YouTube, please drop a comment down below. We love to chat about absolute nonsense. And until the next one, everybody, keep it cool.